Es una buena pregunta porque yo tampoco lo sé muy bien. Eh, para mí ha sido bastante una sorpresa este evento, no sabía muy bien con lo que me iba a encontrar. Es como muy, muy teórico, ¿no? muy académico. Yo la verdad creo que pues, pues es interesante que suceda ¿no? y si sucede es porque también hay una necesidad. ¿no? Me parece que, que es muy productiva en realidad porque que sigue europeo también porque es un, es un punto de, de unión de diferentes experiencias, ¿no? Eh, para hacer charcha, para aprender las unas de las otras, para también teorizar, si no es no, de, de, lo, de lo que ya y pues han funcionamiento unas otras estrategias, ¿no? Que sea una entra, una entra yo que ya está en servir o, o ya han comes el error y, y ya no, no y caurás, ¿no? I think that this workshop could be very good in terms of uh, creating a, a network between different experiences in different, uh, from different countries and different cities and uh, sharing uh, uh, good strategies in terms of uh, resisting or, or uh, developing good projects. Effectivement, c'est un échange qui me semble être cohérent dans le sens où ça peut découler d'un point de vue local par des gens qui en fait, euh, voilà, ils parlent plusieurs langues, ils sont capables de communiquer avec d'autres pays, ils ont des capacités d'interaction, de communication et qui en fait peut être porté plus localement et qui au final nous, nous rapporte des expériences des autres, qui nous permet de trouver de nouvelles idées, qui nous permet de créer de nouvelles choses. Well, this workshop is, is a place for people to meet, to share, to make connections. That's extremely important because many squatting scenes are extremely local and uh, very isolated and uh, don't take the time or the energy or even have the capacities to engage in solidarity across national borders or even outside their own city or barrio neighborhood. Um, more uh, specifically, the Squatting Europe Collective meetings serve as a kind of training ground or skill share for uh, what I call high academic work. Here we are in an institute of governance uh, talking about squatting. So the idea is that discourse about squatting will enter into mainstream discourse around government, governance and civic management. That's high academia. Yeah. Um, so on the one hand, I hope that kind of the results of, or one of the effects of these, this, these squat conferences is um, as an inspiring, inspiration to activists everywhere but on the other hand I also hope um, or I think that a lot of people would agree with me is that it um, will foster a certain legitimation of what squatting is. Yeah, the squat meeting was I think really contributing because it bring a lot of people together working on different topics and issues also academic people from the art so I think it was just good to have an overview about all the fights in the different countries, what's going on there, just to share ideas and to see uh, what we can learn to each other. And for me, it helped a lot. And I think uh, it's really we should uh, bring it out to more to the public, but it's really contributing. The best thing for me is to know uh, the different type of difficulties uh, that people uh, have in different kind of countries or cities or legal context. And uh, it's really helpful uh, to deal with the situation, to have ideas for the different project, to see how uh, the self-management can be made uh, on the everyday life. And uh, for the research, it's pretty interesting uh, to have different point of view, different methods, uh, to see uh, the type of research that people made, um, and uh, to have more contact. It's, um, for example, in Montreal, uh, we have to read a lot about social centers, about squad, but we never really talk to anybody because there's nobody doing this. Um, and so having people right in front of us that are talking about what they are experiencing now, what are the, the, the questions that they have actually, it's really, really a rich opportunity for us. Bueno, supongo que cambia el hecho de ver otras realidades, ¿no? Desde la academia, ver otras realidades de la vida de la gente aquí en Cataluña, de estilos de vida, de, de bueno, de estilos de vida que mueven también muchas personas, que son cañeros, ¿no? Como eh, y lo que creo que puede cambiar. No lo sé, quizá animar a la gente eso que, que lo hace desde la ex cátedra, pues que lo viva en su carne, ¿no? Uh -huh.